This is an AI chatbot that I created using Perplexity Labs and it is being powered by the Sonar model which also created or being developed by Perplexity. So the Sonar model is a lot better at research compared to other models simply because it does have access to the internet. So the answer is going to be much more accurate and relevant. And if you're subscribing to the Perplexity Pro, you are getting free $5 credit of Perplexity Sonar and you can use it to create automation or to create a chatbot like this one, or you can create any other custom tool that might be uh, satisfying your work. So in this video, I'm going to show exactly how you can create a tool like this that is being powered by Perplexity Sonar API and how you can uh, get the API and later how you can put that API into your new tool that was created in the Perplexity Labs. So let me show you how you can do it. First, let's go to perplexity.ai and then you have to use this AI prompt. And don't worry, I'm going to provide the prompt in the video description. So basically you want to generate a tool, which in this case, uh, actually on my example earlier, I'm using, I'm creating an AI wrapper chatbot. So this is called AI wrapper chatbot. It's just, you know, uh, the wrapper of perplexity sonar API. Now I'll try to create something that is different. So this is the problem that I'm going to use. And basically I want to create an AI tool that can provide me or suggest a video title based on the draft that I provided. So it will do a research on the internet and will compare other contents with similar title and will create or suggest a title based on the research. So this is the prompt that I'm going to use, but feel free to use a different goal. You might have a different need. Uh, you can tell AI about the thing that you want to create and you can provide it right here in this area on this section of the paragraph. And again, the prompt is, is available in the video description. And after that, let's click this button to enable Perplexity Labs. And then you can click this button and just wait for Perplexity to create the app uh, based on your instruction. And I'll be back in a second. All right, after about 10 minutes, finally the tool has been created and I'm going to click view full screen so we can see the app in a much bigger scale. And I think it is worth mentioning that uh, the tool or the UI that you will see will depend largely on the kind of tool that you are trying to create using Perplexity Labs. So this is the result and uh, I guess the first thing that I need to do is that I have to enter the API key which is the Sonar API key from my Perplexity account. So let's go back to Perplexity again and I'm going to click Pro Picture, go to Account and go to API Keys right here. And okay, so you can create a new one by clicking this button or you can also uh, copy the existing code that you just created. So I'm going to copy my own code and let's go back to the tool again let me just paste that and here for a quick demo i'll try let's say let's pretend i want to create a video about iphone 16 review so that's going to be the title 16 review okay there is the option for platform youtube tiktok instagram linkedin let's try youtube there is content type uh that's going to be review or comparison and yeah i guess that's everything else maybe there is this setting oh, okay i can select the tone i guess let's select professional click bait level okay that's quite interesting let's let's use conservative and i guess that's everything that i need to set up for the tool let's click optimize title and just let perplexity or in this case the sonar ai from perplexity to do the research so this has nothing to do with perplexity your account it has nothing to do with that uh, this is based on your own API and by the way uh, you can even get the API key or you can use the Sonar API without having to subscribe to Perplexity Pro. You can pay some money to Perplexity to get access to, to the Sonar API and I have seen many people uh, using the Sonar API to build a lot of apps, unique apps for their own use case. So this is just one example. I'm making videos on YouTube, so I think I could use it to generate some interesting titles based on uh, this current title. Okay, still trying to generate some suggestions. It could take quite a while. And there you go. So this is the result. It looks quite interesting. There is the SEO score, engagement, click appeal, characters. Okay, that's very interesting. So again, the UI, the look of the tool will depends on the tool that you're trying to create on Perplexity Labs. So that's basically how you can do it. And again, the full prompt will be available in the video description. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.